This video illustrates the use of AutoCAD in finding the buoyancy of my boat. From my displacement and draft video earlier, I have my immersed volume or my volumetric displacement of my hull. So I have that left over. But I also turned on the three planes, the base plane, the center plane, and station zero or the forward perpendicular. Uh, and that way my reference point is back as my little black ball. Uh, my UCS I left back here from the previous video, so I'm just going to move the UCS, type in UCS, type O for origin, and I'm going to select the intersection of the three planes. So now my X, uh, my X axis is forward and aft, Y is port and starboard, and Z is up and down. And as you can see, the only portion of my boat that touched the forward perpendicular was above the water, uh, water line. So that's why this looks like there's a, a disconnect there. Just keep that in mind. Uh, since I have my volume, I'm going to type in mass prop. I'm going to select the volumetric displacement, press enter, and now it tells me my centroid. So what's considered my LCB, my longitudinal center of buoyancy, is 44.0477 inches aft of the forward perpendicular. Uh, of course, there's no TCB. Uh, your hull should pretty much be symmetrical. And then my VCB is my Z. The other thing that we need to do is we need to find the LCF, the longitudinal center of flotation. So I already have at my six inch mark, I have an area up there. So what I'm going to do is copy that area. I'm gonna go to modify, solid editing, and then I'm going to copy a face. And let's select the hole. Let's see if this does it, yep. As you can see, it's already highlighted my, uh, my design water plane, uh, my design water line at six inches. So I'm fine with that. I'm going to, it says uh, specify my base point. I'm just gonna type in the origin, zero, zero, zero. And then since I wanna keep it at the same place, I'm gonna type in zero, zero, zero again. Just press enter twice. And let's delete the hole. Now I'm left with my design water plane which, I mean, is the same thing as my six inch water plane. And then I'm just gonna type in mass prop again. And I'm going to select that region. And now my LCF is at 42.5625 inches aft of my forward perpendicular.